gratitude. I got a whole lot of that. I was incarcerated a little over 31 years. I was doing 25 to life. I started preparing for release long before I was released. I was living in the academy when they started building the castle gardens. It's uh, 114 units, half of them were formerly incarcerated, and the other half is uh, affordable living. And I've been here ever since. I was in a homeless shelter with my daughter. I was there for two years before I came here to the Fortune Society. Being homeless is really stressful, especially when you have children that are young and school age. I had a case manager at the shelter and she had informed me of this program. So I applied and here I am. I remember thinking, geez, these are a lot of apartments. <laughs> it felt good because it felt like a safe space and it was really pretty here. It still is. When I came out the shelter and moved here, I was really sick. I had been diagnosed with cancer. As soon as they found out my situation, they were helping me from the very beginning, gave me permission for my family to stay here and help us, provided us with the extra bed for my family to stay here and everything. They have helped my daughter and I so much throughout the 11 years. I don't think she would have had all the opportunities that she's had if it wasn't for the, being here in this program. At the Fortune Society, I answer letters from prisoners all over the country. They ask for reentry housing. I say, here is where you're going to be released to, and here are the places that service you. People appreciate the things that I do. So when I went over to Castle Gardens, it's the same thing. People having problems and stuff like that, I would assist them. If I go downstairs to the Fortune Society and I have a problem, and they themselves cannot help me with it, they will find the help that I need. This building had like a lot of opportunities to meet other people. We had bingo nights, or when certain holidays would come around, they would have like a party, and you would just meet the other people and the kids in the building, so it was really nice. On Halloween, they turned the academy into the haunted house. They give out fresh vegetables every Wednesday. They would give us tickets for Broadway plays, which was good, because a lot of us that didn't even come into the for a few about thinking Broadway play, you gotta be kidding. Don't ask me how I got into garden, being afraid of bugs. When I start plucking my vegetables and my herbs, it's so peaceful. Sometimes I cannot even believe that I'm in Manhattan. I'm gonna start college. I'm gonna be a freshman at SUNY Delhi, and I'm going to be majoring in culinary arts management, and I'm very excited. Home is a place you could go to to feel relaxed, or a person you could go to to feel relaxed. Home is here and with my mom. When you talk about home, home just don't get up and move. Home is there, and Castle Gardens is there. Having a safe place to live is the difference between life and death. If it wasn't for the Fortune Society, I honestly don't know where my daughter and I would be. And to this day, when we walk in, it's like, <sighs> home, sweet home.